Hey guys, it's John FD, and I'm with my good friend Paul Bagram. And today we're going outside of Kiev to the city of Ipin, a place I've heard a lot about. We've heard a lot about. Apparently, it's like a little Switzerland in Ukraine. So we're going to go <laughs> jump on the metro and some other transport and yeah. go check it out. A much cheaper Switzerland outside of Ukraine. So this one takes us right to. Oh, God. <laughs> I wasn't expecting you to have things right. <laughs> You're more professional I'll than always me. be filming. We've yes. got to go all the way to the last stop on the metro line. I wonder what that would be like. What's it called? Where we go? Academica Gorse or something. Yeah. Student. And then most people will take the, the Marshuka from there, but I have a feeling we're gonna end up taking a Uber from there. But I'm, I'm curious how much it costs from. No, from let's there. do it the Soviet. Let's do it how the locals do. It. Let's jump on a bus. We'll see. Let's do the. We'll, we'll decide once we get there. Which other oh. ones? <laughs> all right. So we are at Tetrana now. We're gonna go to Universitet. And then all the way to the last stop, Academic School. Telling us where Irpin is. Hello, disco music here. Oh, we're getting in here. Bye bye. Oi, what's happening? You don't oh, like this music? I must have my eye taken out. Oh my god. So <laughs> finish off. Johnny, have you ever had a kvass? Yeah, of course. But oh, do you want it's a must one? do, of course. Let's go. Let's, do it. Let's get a kvass. All right. Uh, I'll take a small one because why do you have a litre of kvass? I like kvass but it always tastes terrible but maybe this one's a good one. Maybe. <laughs> this is the smallest kvass I've ever seen in my life. Why are you so the pretty girls work at the kvass dance? I think they hired them on purpose. Uh, oh god, yes, it worked. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Let's see one more show, they're nice. Okay, cheers to uh, yeah. our adventure to Irpin. To Irpin. Being as nice as you can move the Irpin. Oh, we found it. So, this is our bus, lucky number 420. Does that make any sense in, Are we going in your to world? Be on this one or the one behind? Which one? No, it's this one. Oh, I don't know. I guess. I don't know. This one? Yeah, why not? Okay, come on. Sentry. 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 No, I don't know. No, I never drank it. I just wanted to look at the beautiful city. Yeah, it's good. Oh, I don't know. Let's go. The most dangerous bus. So we've been on this bus for now less than a minute. Uh, uh, Baldwin made a friend. Uh, uh, my drug is Sasha. Just a chair. Ukrainian or? Irpin. 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 Oh, oh, class, class. Irpin in the house. So we've met our first Irpin friend. We've met an Irpinian. Yeah. And, and he's they're friendly. And he said it's very nice. He said it's better than Kiev. He said it's better than Kiev. Yeah. But this so, Mashuka is really hot. I have very. Yeah, I'm sweating my tears off. Already. But I have very high expectations for him. Yeah. He's going to tell us something about Irpin. Okay. okay. They have four regions of the city. Mm -hmm. 
The center is called the center. Mm -hmm. There's Mashdorf University. He lives in Bekeze. Bekeze, it stands for brick factory basically. Okay. Hope it's not as tough as Cheteze. Okay. This is Bekeze. Uh, what sport you have? UFC? Yeah. UFC? We have UFC. And Mosul. Yeah. Okay. Uh, uh, Silver, yeah. Ah, da, 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 da. Silver, da? Da. Are you crazy? It's Silver Mosul. Silva just content to... Now he finally turns in and tries to sit up. Oh! Take down by Amazon with authority! And that's what we're talking about with Amazon. The winner by unanimous decision Still undefeated Yaroslav Dynamo Amazon. Oh. We've got famous UFC fighters from okay. Lupin, so it's a tough town, we've got to be careful. And he's the champion of Bellator. Oh, yeah, we've got all this information, this guy knows everything about Irpin. Is Irpin dangerous? Uh, it's a uh, <laughs> Not now. No, 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 the whole town is like the same atmosphere. Okay. Wow. Okay. 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 Alright, so we're finally moving. Uh, we're finally in this sweaty, hot mushroom skirt. Aren't you glad now we didn't take an Uber? No. Oh. Okay, so I checked, guys. It's 177 for you to take an Uber, which is about $8. Instead, we paid eight agreement on it. Okay, guys, so you know my rush is not very good. I kept thinking they said it's going to be 13 minutes. Treat. Treat not sit. Do not sit. Turns out it's going to be 30 minutes on this hot, sweaty bus. If traffic's good. If traffic's good. Or it could be an hour or two, even if it's bad. And it wasn't even that cheap. It was 20. No, it was a 48 agreement? 48 for two. For two. That's, I mean, it's only a dollar each, yeah. but the taxi, <laughs> no, I mean, it's cheap, it's very cheap, but the taxi was only 177. So we could have, like, if, if, if we were three or four people, it wouldn't be that much more. Yeah, we're three or four, but we're not three or four, Charlie. Yeah, yeah, but it's it's still, yeah, but it still would have been like seven dollars. It was still a buck. Yeah, I know. But, okay. Charlie's gone for Ukrainian. <laughs> He was paying a dollar for half an hour. Well, you know why? Because most every other mushroom goods were eight green like In town. Very sad. In town. In city. Out. Yeah. So I suppose that's why. Oh, because you know, you're not leaving a city. You're going from one city, Kiev, to the next city, Europe. Oh, so exciting. Inter what lies in inter between? City. What lies in between? Like, it is forest. This is our first out of city journey together. Uh, so moving on. Why is this light in my face? <laughs> Some of these are the new buildings for sale with the older buildings next to it. So this is one of the supermarkets, Atebe. <laughs> and this parking lot, it reminds me of LA. And, and I feel like you have to have a car in Urban. Are we getting out here? Yeah, that's it. Center. Center. I'll show you just where we're going. Oh, it's kind of nice here. Let's take a look. Thank you very much. Guys, we have made it to Irpin. This is our Marshuka. It was a long journey, guys. It's bold and our new friend. So I took a look at the time. It was exactly a little bit over an hour to get from the center center. Okay. To here by subway and then marshuka and there was no traffic today because it's summer in the winter or during like school season it'll take a lot longer and it didn't feel like we we're just going to a far side of town it felt like we went to another city like 
this is, it feels like something I would do on a weekend trip. Not, I wouldn't want to do this every day, especially not public transportation. Bold already made a, made a fan here. And this is the central center of Urpin. People hang out here, drinking, feeding pigeons. Okay. Okay. What are your first uh, impressions? I've just had my first selfie with a celeb, with oh, a fan. A celebrity. <laughs> yeah. He's a celebrity. You asked him for a selfie. Okay. He's a famous Urpin YouTuber. Uh -huh. It's not easy being a successful blogger in Urpin. There's always uh -huh. people asking for them selfies. But anyway, okay. first impressions. Yeah. What do you think? I mean, I like this little park uh -huh. that they've got. They've got a park, they've got children running around and people chilling on benches and babushkas. And they've over there, they've got a pizza restaurant, okay. which looks nice. And um, first impression, I'm giving a thumbs up to Irpin. Really? I, all I see is a bunch of bird poop on the ground. Why are you looking at the negatives of Irpin? Look at the positives of Irpin, like the lovely people. Oh, I'm open to discussion. Is that like an <laughs> Well, wow, well, this is the place to be. Good old Irpin. Wow, Johnny, I'm excited. You know what? Soviet Irpin down there. Yeah, okay, so that way is the Soviet Irpin. This is the new city center. Ooh, there's a nice coffee place up there. Okay, let's go have a coffee, and uh, we can we can talk. We can plan our trip to Irpin. So far, I feel like it looks exactly like what I expected. Kind of like a small little town, like Bansko, Bulgaria, like a little yeah. snow village or something. John, a ski village. Yes. There's a Soviet hotel. If only we brought our passports, we could have a night in Soviet hotel. Oh God. Uh-huh. Reforma. Do you think this is the number one shawarma place in I don't Urban. want to speak too soon, Johnny. All my life, I've been looking for a place to hang up the old travel boots and just like settle down. There's a nightclub, Soviet hotel, gym, cinema, coffee place, pizza. What more do you want? I think I've finally found my place. Yeah. <laughs> oh, let's look at the lobby. Let's look at the lobby of the hotel. Yeah. Oh my god. That is so awesome. Oh, you know what? That coffee place is actually part of Hotel oh, Urban. Yes. Yeah. Okay. And this is the hotel. So she handed me this cup, which was the key. I thought it was a cup, like an espresso. <laughs> yeah, I do went to espresso. <laughs> can you give me an Americano? Yeah. All I can say is, spasiba, um, If you didn't film that Soviet toilet, you are not a YouTuber. That was the greatest toilet. Did you see that little, like, heater thing? The hand dryer, the Soviet one? Oh, I didn't like see 50 it. 50 years old. You filmed uh, it. I no, I didn't. I'm going to go back. Okay, hold on. Let's put our coffees down, so we're gonna go. I think we're gonna go to the toilet. I'm not going with you to oh. the toilet. That looks dodgy. Oh yeah, you that does. Again, okay. But look at the hand drawer. Oh. Okay, guys, I'll, I'll try to find a photo over here, so we don't have to go to the toilet again. But it was definitely an old Soviet toilet. No, you. It, it is the greatest Soviet toilet I've seen since I was in Transnistria. Wow. And almost. All right. Well, here's our Soviet coffee. Look this paper cup. Cheers. Best coffee in Urpin. Doesn't even doesn't even come in any Mestakan. Ben just got... asked her something in Russian and she's like, I don't speak English, sorry. <laughs> this My is Russian how bad is so your bad. Russian is, yeah. Because I speak in a completely different language. She's like, I don't speak uh, Afrikaans, sorry. <laughs> Alright, so I just set the internet speed to see how the Wi-Fi is here in Urpin. How did you describe it again? Well, hey, if you're not filming my, my pearls of wisdom, that's your <laughs> Don't ask me to repeat. It started very slow, but it slowly, slowly grew. It was a grower, not a shower. Yeah. And just daddy grit. Like, it was like nine down and seven up. So, you, yeah, you can, you can live here. You can, you can upload a video. Dude. Yeah, you can upload. Yeah. So, I'm checking camera angles. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, all I want you to do is go to that toilet one more time and film, please, film for your fans. The Soviet hand dryer, because it is epic. It's just so awkward asking her for the key again after like three minutes, after having one coffee, but I will, just for you guys. For the content. All right. all right, so we were just sharing our first impressions on on our pan, and I had said it feels like we're in some little mountain towns around. You really feel like you've left Kiev behind. It feels yeah. like Kiev is like three hours, four hour, 10 hour train journey away. Yeah. Although it is in fact 20 minutes away. No, you know what? I don't keep saying that. That's the number one misconception of Urpin. All these YouTubers are saying, oh, it's 25 minutes away, it's 25 minutes away. It took more than an hour, there was no traffic. Wait, wait, 
An hour from where? From the centre, really. Oh, from the centre, yeah. I was talking about like the last little bus. Oh, from the last stop, yeah. But so how, okay, now how long did it take them from starting in the centre, Chris Attic, to Irpin Coffee House? How long so did it take? So we were, we were quite close, so it's, it's five, no, it's, yeah, five ten now. We left just before four, like maybe three fifty. It was an hour. Yeah, but that was us, like, at the metro station. We had a kibas. Yeah, we hung out with the kibas. Uh, and the Marshuka just happened to be leaving like a minute, like two minutes after we took it out there. Took an hour. Yeah, it's about an hour. It's from, an hour. But that's like the fastest can be an hour. It took an hour from the Krishatik, the central street of uh-huh. Kiev, all the way to my new favorite town, my future home, Irpin, um, up the Irpin Massive. And um, yeah, I'm not going back. I'll I'm checking there. into the Irpin Hotel. Oh, I didn't okay. bring my passport. If you guys want to visit, also go to the Irpin Hotel. <laughs> Forever. Using this Soviet toilet down here in the center. I don't know you like so much. I mean, this okay, adequate coffee in a Pima cup. To Irpin. Yeah. And whatever it holds tonight. Yeah. Oh, we'll see how much that is. I hope it holds more than uh, this little cup does. In that hotel room, that Irpin hotel room. Johnny's going to go and see the Soviet hairdryer. Uh, is it cheap? Moshe, you show this toilet clutch. Let's see what Moshe. She doesn't think I have the smallest bladder in the world. Make sure you wipe and wash your hands afterwards, you dirty bastard. Toilet near Prash Prajo Prajo says it's not working. Let's go. Oh my God, it's completely dark in here. Da, 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 da. Don't smoke. Ben actually locked him. I'm shocked. <sighs> Guys, welcome to the most Soviet toilet ever. Even it sounds creepy. Normal, kind of normal toilet. This one's a lock up for some reason. This one's missing the. Then you sit on. This is the drawn on woman's. Here's a Soviet sink. And this is what Balt was so excited about. It's funny, they just hired hardwired it into this plug. Let's see if it works. Oh, it does. It's actually warm. And there's a little mirror on there, too. Hey, guys. How are you doing? Happy. Was I right that it was the greatest Soviet hand dryer you've ever seen? Okay, so, so to be fair, I've actually never seen that before, so that was cool. And actually, I have to go back. I actually left and I realized this car doesn't turn off by itself. So thank God I turned it off. I turned it off manually yeah, of because I realized they probably didn't have automatic timer. Anymore. Soviet hand dryer, my friend. Yeah. Right. man in space, but you can't make a hair <laughs> <off. laughs> Let's, Let's take it off. Ben is inquiring how much it costs to stay here for a night. And one month? Um, 520 grivna for one night. And what if you wanted to stay one month? Mm, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Don't pretend you're staying in here for a month, I buy you. Uh-huh. I'm not welcome. Good evening, people of YouTube. I do like these Soviet uh, movie posters. Let's say like... Pres... Presonaz? Presonaz. Presonaz, what does that mean? Wish you hadn't asked that. <laughs> you don't know how to answer it! You don't realize how terrible my rap is. People who work somewhere. Oh yeah, I know. If you go to the supermarket, no, surely no. there's something more interesting. Okay. That's crazy dog. What's crazy dog? Crazy dog is either a strip club oh. or a hot dog place. Oh, can you imagine? What if it was both? Oh, hot dog and strippers? Yeah. Oh my God, does it get any better? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> there's a crazy dog, there's a crazy dog running across crazy dog. Look who that is. Oh, Cherubaska. 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 
What's the story behind Chedibrashka? Is it like a Is it supposed to be scary? Slava, I was born Slava. Yeah, the piece of Chedibrashka. Cherubashka. No, Bang you nas nie tu sam sjem. Cherubashka. Cheburashka. No ladna. Cheburashka. She's like, what are you talking about? I've never heard of that in my life. Cheburashka. They're just so protective. Cherubashka. They're so protective of their Soviet cartoons here. Yeah. It's like, oh, look, look at this lovely place with cakes and women jumping. Imagine if you had this car living in Irpin, you'd be like the coolest guy. Look how cool this is. You know why, don't you? This is like some Greek Roman... Yeah. What is it? This city was founded by the Romans, you didn't know? No, tell me the history. This city was founded in um, 283 by um, Lysias the Great of Kiev. Uh, so, I have a feeling yeah. you're full of crap. This, this city was definitely not founded by the Romans. This city was founded by the Romans. The point of it, look who's up here. Lysias the Great. Of, Is it Lysias? Um, of the Crimea. I think so, from um, the year 222. He um, came here to Irpin and formed this city. And no. these are the old ruins of Irpin, the old tower. <laughs> that was like the original okay. pillar. I'm, I'm going to ask someone who actually lives here. Is uh, she is Irpin. A store, a store, uh, um, like uh, who's that? Who is it? I just now need to ask you. Is this a person from Irpin? No. Ah, yes. Thank you. They have nothing to do with Irpin. So she said that is Lysias. No, she did. My Russian is not very good, but I understood. She said that they have nothing to do with Irpin. Okay. I think that th th this is a completely new square, and they're just like you know what? Let's make it kind of cool. Let's make it Roman theme. Oh no, no, but you know what? Oh, now Dainiet, Dainiet. Yeah, thank you, thank Potava yeah. has that same kind of a Roman arch thing. Yeah. I don't remember why, but they also had it. So maybe there is something to do with this history. Let's find out. Let's ask someone. But I will say this Soviet kind of building yeah. with this new kind of shops in front of it. This yeah. is actually kind of a... <gasps> oh, my God, oh 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 my God, I've seen something. Oh my God, I've seen something amazing. They have a Hesburger. They have the world's greatest burger. I haven't seen that since Tallinn. And I was like, we don't have Hesburger in the UK. They have a friggin' Hesburger. Are we going to Hesburger? I can see it over the top of the trees. Are we going to Hesburger? Yes, we're going to Hesburger. <laughs> oh my God. I can't believe they've got a Hesburger in Irpin. They don't even have one in Kyiv that I've seen. Yeah, because it's such a crap burger place. How dare you? If it's good enough for Estonia, <laughs> it's good enough for Irpin. I've had Hesburger in Bulgaria and it was not very good. Really? Yeah. I think it's, 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 okay, you have like McDonald's, Burger King, listen, okay, in and out above that. Listen. Estonians. And, yeah. Estonians, you don't you know about You guys wouldn't have, how dare you, you guys wouldn't have a bad burger in Estonia. <laughs> yes, they Everything would. Great in Estonia. No. Even their burgers, they've got Hesburger, I presumed it was Estonian. No? Is it? I don't, I don't know. know, I don't know where it's from, but it's not very good. This is probably the main street, right? This is like the center yeah, center. I think we're going to come now to the main square. Yeah. Sound effort. Okay. Paul's excited that there's something exotic. Well, I'm excited. With this fake Roman thing, Ooh. like, with, with the China, China, like Asian bulbs. China <laughs> bulbs. <laughs> but that's not interesting. But look at the Soviet mosaic behind you. Yeah, with the swan. That is actually kind of cool. We've got mosaics, and over there we've got a Hesburger. Yeah. What more do you want in a town? I don't know. I want to find out why this is Roman Coliseum themed. Like if this is just design or if there was a reason for this. Somebody from Airpen, please tell me why this is the way it is. You know what, let me check Wikipedia real quick. I'll, I'll come right back to you guys. So bald, yeah. I checked the good old Wikipedia. Yeah. What, and what kind Did of you Roman find or Greek history? Of, um, no, there is nothing. There's literally nothing about it. Okay. And I just asked a local opinion, okay. carrying the big jug of water. Okay. And she also, she was like, maybe it's a style. They have no idea. All right. So just like next to the center, we have this new build. And we can go check out the office. Maybe we can see how much something like this would be. This would be a great location. Oh, the location's great, right? 
Right? Just like literally right next to the park. I mean, like this is. Yeah, and like right there is the main street. Yeah. Let's have a little look yeah, let's ask. Central house. We can even ask in here. Is it the office? Uh, no, I don't think it's... Can we drink milk? That's a building site. I was just about to throw away my bottle of water and I realized Erpian is so technologically advanced. I think I can fill it here. Maybe even with a card. Here's another one of these new buildings. I think this, this style is like popular. Oh, this is the greatest Georgian restaurant in all of Ukraine, supposedly. Who said that? My, my buddy who was moving here, he said he ate here and he said it was actually really good. Hello. 39 dollars, uh, one room apartment. It's not everything is empty, it's not everything is empty. But you need to remove it, what do you so we are inquiring ah, how much it costs to buy one of these apartments right in the center. Uh, this car. To Johnny. This is the greatest Georgian food in all of Ukraine. We shall see. Okay. And it's supposed to be cheap too. We'll see. So we are ordering the Georgian food here in Erpin and I'm so hungry. And the prices here are much lower than Kiev. It's a near Kiev. And we just ordered one dollar glass of wine. Georgian wine as well. That's a cheap set of anyway. So like what do you I mean, alright. So I'm excited to try it. This is Georgia for dinner. Our first meal. Maybe our only meal there. Let's see. Not mine. I'm here forever. It's cold. Ooh. It's nice. It tastes like wheat. Like, it tastes literally like grape juice. Yeah. Oh. I'm going to have another one of these at some point. Do you have 26 uh, grape juice? <laughs> it's less than my food. I know. So many grams of these. So this Georgian restaurant is a bit disappointing. Food is okay, like not bad, but definitely not as good as the restaurants in Kiev or even Kharkiv. And then what we thought would be like ha like half the price of Kiev, we got the bill. We're like, wait, how did we eat? Thousand one hundred grivna worth of food. Oh, yeah, it might have been lunch. a good restaurant. It's also a bloody expensive one. I know, like, it, like for being an urban, and then like little things like the wine on the menu. It looked like it was only twenty six grivna for a glass. We're like, oh, this house, glass of house wine is only a dollar. That's amazing. And then we realize that's for like fifty grams. A fifty gram shot, which I'm like, like we it, were fleeced by the godless yeah. restaurants. So we charged. We got charged for eight glasses of wine, and then we got charged five dollars for two pieces of bread and then they're like oh sorry we messed but, up but but you have now got a great title for your film avoid this restaurant this scam oh restaurant oh my to god the <laughs> it's like come on you guys are an urban like real estate must be dirt cheap here you can't charge more than kiev for food that's not as good no it's an expensive meal johnny yep so it means i think we have to travel back on the cheapest way possible which means oh only one thing right the electrichka Let's do it. Well, oh, but we gotta look, we gotta see a little bit more of Erpin first. <laughs> How do you like living in Erpin? Uh, 16,000. Oh no. You don't wanna buy a Kominalka in Erpin? <laughs> I think we wanna buy a Kominalka in Kiev. All right, so we just popped in the shop for some dried fruit, these dried figs. And the turkey, these are amazing. They're like juicy and tender and delicious. It's like chewing a little rock. You like yours? Oh my Urban has the worst dried fruit. Maybe the wall. How dare you? Okay, bad things about Urban. Herpes. Mmm. I can't even chew this piece. It's like a um, rock or something. I love Urban. We just found the greatest part of Urban. A tank in the middle of the park. 
if it wasn't, Johnny, if it wasn't for tanks like this, my friends, I'd be speaking German. Jein. And you'd bloody, I don't know, what would you be speaking? Japanese. <laughs> I know. It's good we had it. This, this actually looks like a real tank. I've seen a lot of tanks in the world, but this one actually looks like it's been used. This doesn't look like it's just hanging out here, you know what I mean? That's a beast. Imagine this coming to you over the brow of the hill. The old Soviet anthem playing. <laughs> That was kind of fun. Nice, real Soviet tank. And now we're gonna go deeper in this park. Are you ready to penetrate deeper into the, <laughs> the tunnel, tunnel of love? Of <laughs> <laughs> I'm penetrating. All right. Welcome to good old. Should I do a cool Urban. shout out on this ground? Anyone near him? Wanna hang out in the park? So, Oops, sorry. <laughs> so we've just been walking through this park. That's a pretty nice park. Like a really nice park for being a center. It's a nice one. My man boot showing this t-shirt. I don't know. But the set, the, here's the yeah, thing. You don't have to touch him, you pervert. <laughs> but yeah. But the city of Forest. Yep. Is really just around the outskirts of Verapine. And even though we wanted to walk there, we realized it's like three or four kilometers from the center. Um, what the uh, main forest? Yeah, yeah, probably. But I like this park. We've been. Yeah, I mean, this is very nice. This is nice, yeah. man. Come on, you've got like a lake. You've got areas. You've got a river. Ride. You've got Ukraine's best restaurant there, Rebra, which is a rib restaurant. Yeah, but you can get that anywhere. But yeah, it is nice that they have it here. It's good that you have. So there's it here. like two there's restaurants. In there's a Hess Urban. burger, and there's the a Georgia Rebra. place that overcharged us. There's a Hess burger and a Rebra a rib place. Like, what more do you want? I just eat that all the time. I don't know, I'll get tired of it. Like you would go to, you would go into How do you get Kiyoti. tired of ribs? How do you get tired of ribs? Ribs? I love ribs. Look at me, I love ribs. But I would never want to eat it more than twice a week. You love week. ribs so much we can't see your bloody I know, ribs. I know. I cover them up. It's <laughs> <laughs> having the best time. It is nice that they have a dog park here though. You can actually let them run loose. Even though another dog's running loose. But lots of families here, people with strollers kids hanging around it is a nice place to have a kid like if i was married and had like a family and i didn't really need to be in kiev for any reason yes i would happily live here like it's a nice peaceful suburb we can go into kiev like once every two weeks or something for a nice dinner or to go like shopping or something Sorry. Yep. but it's everything like it's it's so small and boring to me like it's nice but it's small and boring I, there's no reason why i would ever live here i don't care how cheap the apartments are what do you think of it? No. Oh, why are you talking about I mean, I thought about it. Like, when, you know, when people were kept talking about it, saying, oh my God, you know, Irpin is like the, you know, is half the price of Kiev. And well, it's, I mean, so is every other, you know, you know, so is every little town outside of any big city anyways. Like, I'd rather live in Kharkiv. Kharkiv is actually fun. There's stuff to do. And it's pretty much, I guess it's a little bit more than, you know, it's probably the same as Irpin. It's probably the same as Irpin. Well, can I have my opinion? Yeah, please, please. I'm moving to Irpin. <laughs> I will bet any amount of money Paul is not moving to Irpin. Like yeah, a real gem. Yeah, it's kind of like not quite an adult one. It's yeah. Kind of, you know, it's kind of interesting, but... Oh, wow, look at this. Have you shown this? The, the bed area of Irpin. Yeah, it's a nice little outside chill bar. Puka bar, I guess. Like, this would be a nice outdoor work out here but it's just overrun by kids like you can't even work out here like it doesn't make sense that she's not at all it's oh a, wait it's uh, a statue. Her no her head's moving her head's is moving. it her head's moving. oh there's someone down there she's talking to she's in it just doesn't make sense that you could be that steel like her legs have not moved it's a statue no no no, like no, a, no, no unless she just does that sometimes like what all right mr board so it's starting to get dark now Tears. So we should probably make our way back to Kiev. Might be some Gopniks coming our way. Eh? How funny would it be if this is where the Gopniks live, not Hatazad? Oh god, the dodgy area of Edpin. And we get robbed on the way to the train station. How crazy would that be? As long as they don't steal my Hesburger. Oh, yeah, I don't but care. Let's get a Hesburger for the train. Oh, for sure. Okay. Guys, 
when Heather Hesburger try to hop on the Electricia train. Oh, back to good old Kiev, and we'll see what we see. But this is definitely my favorite part of Urpin so far. It's this dog park. I love these things. All right, so bald. It's yes. a good deal. Yeah. In like 10, 15, maybe 20 years. Yeah. <laughs> 10, 15 years. Okay. If we're like married. Together? No. Oh. Like we, we each have like haughty Ukrainian wives or Belarusian wives or whatever. Belarusian. Okay. We have some, ki we have some kids, one or two kids, and then like a dog or something. Okay. I'd be happy to live here. Take the dog, the you know, for walking this park. Bring him to the little dog park. Go to Kiev like once a week only. I'd be happy to live here. I think if I had a hot Belarusian or Ukrainian wife, I'd be happy to live anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> Girls, uh, if you want to sign up, comment 3%, below. Three <laughs> percent. <laughs> I get. I have like you know seven percent of female viewers. Yeah, yeah. Hey, why is Johnny twice as popular with the women as me? <laughs> <laughs> fair enough, fair enough. Is this the lake you're talking about? <laughs> <laughs> hey, at some point it's going to be beautiful. <laughs> Famous Lake of Irkin. <laughs> Thank you.